All right, it's time for a look at the weather now. Mark Nelson is joining us. That rain a couple of days ago mm -hmm. really like it scared me. I thought, oh man, this is the end of all our good weather. But we got. Nope, a it was just more. one day. It was yeah. kind of a little freak event. I don't know, if freak is the right word. That's an overused word. But uh, it, it, yeah, it showed up suddenly at the last within about 12 or 18 hours yeah. of when we expected it. But uh, Mary Hill Station Room Bistro Camera. That was this evening, right at sunset. And uh, yeah, clear sky out there, just some clouds there over the coast range in the distance. We're going to wake up to, like I said, I think partly cloudy or clear skies on the west side of the metro, east side of the metro. I think you'll wake up cloudy like in Gresham and Troutdale. That's a view from our Discover Newport camera down there on the waterfront. Here's what's ahead. Two very warm days. We're going to be significantly warmer tomorrow by about 10 degrees. So we're in the low, 80, uh, low 70s today. Tomorrow, tomorrow we're going to be into the low 80s, maybe mid to upper 80s for one day on Monday. And then a big cool down starting on Tuesday. Wednesday, probably into the latter part of next week. So uh, we're back in the maybe upper 60s to mid 70s range, back to normal basically. And we might actually have some normal June weather coming up. By that, I mean uh, some of our models indicating we could have a change to at least a few days of cool and showery weather, which we have not seen since way back in early May. Um, and that would be, if not next Friday, next Saturday. So next weekend, maybe much different. So we've got two real nice warm weekends we've had in June. It's possible the third weekend is a different story. Uh, there was still rain after midnight. From Astoria to Kelso and up north, Seattle had about two tenths of an inch of rain. Most of this was during the night or, or this morning. Uh, of course, farther south, we did not have rain because that system continues to move farther away from us. Now it's in British Columbia giving them showers. Uh, a few thunderstorms across southern Oregon and northern California. Uh, otherwise, just uh, another system sitting over California giving them some scattered showers. Nothing near us through at least Tuesday morning, so that's why we have warmer weather on the way. So you can see the clouds tomorrow morning. A lot of clouds along the coast. And then in the afternoon, kind of partly cloudy on the coast, but clear skies here in the valleys. No thunderstorms east side unless they're right over by the, uh, uh, by the uh, Idaho border. All right, so then um, Monday, areas of morning clouds east side of the metro again. Sunny in the afternoon. That should be our warmest day. Tuesday, quite a bit different. A lot of clouds coming through. We're going to call Tuesday a partly cloudy day. There's actually a cold front moving across. It's actually over here by Tuesday afternoon. So I think the temperatures will take a big drop on Tuesday back to normal. All right, so we'll go for a high temperature of 84 tomorrow. Uh, sunny lunchtime, just a nice, you know, early summer type day. Those temperatures are a good 10 degrees above average. Monday, mid to upper 80s. That'll be our warmest day of the next week at least. Could be the warmest day of the next 10. And then Tuesday, look at the drop, down 13 degrees. We'll stay in the mid 70s. So back to normal on Tuesday, much cooler, kind of partly cloudy skies. What about Wednesday? Well, if there are clouds left Wednesday morning, we could have a spot or two of a drizzle. I just don't think there's a, a good chance of that uh, happening. But then uh, Thursday, Friday, uh, Thursday at least is okay. Friday, though, and Saturday, could we start seeing some showers around? That is a possibility. Just kind of factor that into your plans, like uh, outdoor things, you know, having your roof replaced, something like that. It's like something might be up for late Friday or Saturday of next week. And, of course, we have all these days to talk about it in great detail in your uh, first alert forecast. Okay, I have more talking about the coastline, Cascades, and the river temperatures. A lot of people might be hitting the river the next two days. So we'll talk about those in a few minutes. Anna?